Lighten up for three hearts for you. Let me go see if I can see if everything's okay over there. Great to see you both. Mm. Love to the girls. Mm, love to Barbara. Will do. Mm. That's his son. Oh, crap. George W. Black Sheep of the family. Very boring team. Let's go. Let's go. A little too much unconditional love there. Can you feel it, Dave? Half the room wants to be us. The other half fears us. I know George is next in line, but after that, who knows? That is Amy Adams and Christian Bale as Lynn and Dick Cheney and Vice, which um, I enjoyed. I really, I love hearing that. Do you think Lynn Cheney will watch this movie? Do you have any inkling? Has anybody contacted I, you? Nobody so? has contacted me. I hope she watches it. I do, too. I'd be open to a conversation with her about it. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like she would... I don't know. I don't think she'd be upset by it. Maybe she'd say, oh, I didn't do that, or I didn't do this. Exactly. I think I, I say, I take the Lord's name in vain once. I think she'd probably have a problem with that. I see. That's yeah. not something that... I don't think she would do that. That she no. would necessarily... Or she'd be happy that I exposed if she did. I know? see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. As I, like, kind of as... go into her. I'm like, no, no, no. As far um, as offenses go, that one seems pretty I light. So. Yeah. yeah. But, boy, she really kind of pushed that. You never really expect yeah. that, because we see Dick Cheney as this behind, you know, this kind of... Exactly. Machiavellian character. No, she was a really strong woman. She's, uh, I didn't know anything about her. She has a PhD. She's written or co-written like 29 books. She's very accomplished. How many uh, movies have you and Christian Bale done together now? Uh, this is our third. Third. Yeah. And he is like a totally, he He's, looks totally different appearance-wise in each one of them. He, trans he transforms in a way that is just almost frightening. Yeah. You know, he's so committed. It's really impressive. He has an amazing... Discipline and, and work ethic. I the whole movie, you're going, oh my God, he's just like Dick Cheney. It's I almost know. distracting how much like <laughs> Dick Cheney he is. He's more Dick Cheney than Dick Cheney. Yeah, he's got yeah. a little extra dick exactly. in him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. You got. <laughs> you I mean, if I had made that joke, I'd bow right now. Like, yeah, that's you good. Got, uh, the supporting cast is is terrific. Unbelievable. And your producer, well, the director, Adam McKay, did a great job yeah. with this movie. His partner is Will Ferrell. He's a producer on, on yeah. the movie. And Brad Pitt is a producer on the he movie. Yes, We had a whole, an amazing group of producers. Did Brad Pitt do any actual producing on the movie? Yeah, well, yes. He came, yes. To, he came to set one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... And the reason I knew he was there is because I was like, oh, there's... I had been in makeup. I, I play Lynn up till 70, so I was in 70-year-old Lynn makeup, which is a lot of wrinkles and prosthetics and a suit that makes me look quite a bit heavier. Mm -hmm. um, and I was wondering why all the girls were, like, had lip gloss and uh. were skipping <laughs> to set. And so I walk onto set. Oh, and I'd just been diagnosed with pink eye. Oh, great. True story. So I'm walking on the set like, what's everyone so happy about, you know? And all of a sudden, I see Brad Pitt. And I'm like, like, I've seen him before. But every time you see him, it's sort of like, you're thinking it's like a river runs through it. Like, you know? <laughs> you like, think he's going to like move in slow motion. And then you imagine yourself looking really pretty in like a white nightgown. And... <laughs> but that wasn't the case. No. I was in my uh, fat suit with pink eye. Uh-huh. <laughs> And he was so sweet, and he's like, oh, it's so good to see you. And he went to give me a hug, and I was like, oh, it's happening. And then I realized I can't hug him. I have pink eyes. So I was like, no, no, no. And in that moment, I became the first woman in history to reject a hug from Brad Pitt. Wow, Hitt. wow. But very considerate of you. A lot of people, I think, would, was... would give him the pink. <laughs> I did. Luckily, he was very gracious. I was like, I, I, I'm contagious. I'm uh, pink eye. Well, so, conjunctivitis, it's uh, I hope if you guys win, and producer category, he remembers that in the speech because it's ex <laughs> exceptionally good. Thank you for not giving him pink eyes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I hope he does too, actually. I'd give that him was herpes a real if sacrifice. I had the chance. I really would. <laughs> just around. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you. The movie's great. It's, it's called Vice. It opens too. Christmas Day. Amy Adams, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.